don't know everything about me. The Avengers weren't my first family. It's important for us to understand how this family has shaped the person that Natasha became. Natasha, don't slouch. I'm not slouching. Listen to your mouth. Oh my God, this... Up, up. All right, enough, all of you. I didn't say anything. Yelena is the kind of little sister character. She's there to get the job done, and her relationship with Natasha then becomes quite interesting because they're constantly butting heads in the way that siblings do. Why do you always do that thing? What thing? The pose. It's a fighting pose. You're a total poser. It's really fun to be able to see those two characters when they're together. Such a poser. It's good to see you too, sis. It was so wonderful to be able to do this with Florence because she's such a wonderful actor, feisty and fiery and just full of life. Scarlett's been the leading female face of these films for 10 years. That's definitely a cool badge to wear. I remember her daughter came to set one day and I was like, what does she think you do? And she goes, oh, you know, fight baddies for a living. And I was like, but that is what you do. I like your vest. I knew it, I knew you did. It's so cool, right? Three, two, one, action! Black Widow is something that the Marvel Universe has never experienced before. The action in this film is real. You have these huge armored vehicles going through these iconic streets in Budapest. Budapest itself is so important to who Natasha really is and what drives her. And she finds this family from her past there. So we're gonna talk like grown-ups? Is that what we are? Within like two days of knowing Scarlett, I was just ramming her into a door frame. All the fighting in this film is so emotional and about not knowing how to say what you feel. It's good to see you too, sis. There's some of the most intense fights that we've had in the MCU. There's this big fight scene in this enormous prison. There were 400 extras. It doesn't feel like a movie, it feels real. I wanted to create something really visceral and fun, but to talk about Natasha as a human being, to let audiences see a side of her that they had never seen before. I've spent a decade of time with this character, and she's finally able to write her own story. Hi there, it's Debbie. Did you know that in the 90s, Michael Jackson actually tried to buy Marvel Comics just so he could play Spider-Man? It might sound like a weird idea, but Stan Lee later admitted that he thought he would have been very good for the part. Who knows how that would have turned out? Remember to click below to subscribe, remember to tap the notification bell, or click on the side for more great content.